What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. For any of you who are new here, my name is Dalton. What I do is I resell shoes full-time on platforms like Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari. And in today's video, I wanted to go over my inventory management system, basically how I keep track of every single pair of shoes that I have in inventory so when that item sells, I'm not digging through a bunch of shoes trying to find the right pair. So I've made a video on this topic in the past, but I've got a lot of new subscribers, so I still think that I get that question quite frequently, so I figured I'd go ahead and make an updated video. Um, it's still basically the same inventory system but back then I was in a much smaller scale I was still working out of my apartment now I have a storage unit so I just wanted to you know make an updated video to show you how I'm managing as much inventory as I have now inside of a storage unit as opposed to being just in my apartment so the inventorying process starts as I am taking pictures of shoes before I list them so that's why we're sitting in front of my photo setup um, right next to it as you see I have a monitor right here this contains my inventory spreadsheet um, so as I'm taking pictures of shoes, I can enter into the spreadsheet the SKU as well as the item name as I'm taking the pictures. And then I'll show you what's going on under the desk. So a couple things I want to point out down here. Here's a tub of clean shoes that are ready to photograph. And then right next to that, I have a tub of these closed pins um, that all have SKUs on them. So then when I'm ready to take pictures of the shoes, basically what I'll do is I will grab the bin of closed pins that have all the SKUs written on them. I'll pull out as many as I'm listing that day. So if I'm listing 10 pairs of shoes, I'll take 10 clothespins out. I'll lay them out here in front of me. And then I will type in all of these SKUs into my spreadsheet. And then once I have all of those SKUs entered into my spreadsheet, I'll go ahead and start taking pictures. Um, say we'll grab the first pair of shoes. It's these Nike Roshi golf shoes. I'll enter that into, say the first, first SKU was F1101. I'll go into F1101 on my spreadsheet where I just entered it. I'll type in Nike Roshi. <laughs> Nike Roshi golf shoes. I'll, I'll toss them down here. I'll snap my pictures and then I'll take that same clothespin that had F1101 and then I will just clip that onto the shoe. If it's got a, um, a pull tab in the back, that's where I'll clip it or I'll just clip it onto the tongue, one of the two. I will take those shoes and then I've got just an Ikea bag sitting next to me and then whenever the shoes are photographed, they have their skew and they're entered into the spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and toss them into the Ikea bag and then just repeat this process for the 10 or 15 or 20, however many shoes I'm listing that day, just repeat that process. Double and triple check that each SKU matches the clothespin, matches the uh, spreadsheet, as well as what shoe is listed next to that SKU into, <laughs> shoe is listed next to that SKU in the spreadsheet. And then once everything is double, triple checked, um, I'll take all of these shoes, we'll head on over to my storage unit and I'll show you exactly how I enter them into the shelving in my storage unit, so I'll see you guys there. All right, so I had to come back and refilm this, so that's what's with the uh, sudden change of clothes, but now we're at the storage unit. Um, we have had our shoes that we just photographed inventoried, given a SKU, so now what we get here, um, the SKU that is on those shoes, we just basically look at the um, SKU, as this one is F0404. The way I have my storage unit set up is I have right now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shelves, uh, starting with A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then each shelf is represented in the SKU as well as each um, position on the shelf. So since these are F404, I've actually got the F shelf right next to me. Um, so we're gonna go down to the fourth row, one, two, three, four, and these are F0404. So they just go F01, 02, 03, 04, and then they'll slide right into that row right there. Um, and it's basically the same with every single shelf. A, B, C, D, E, F, and G goes all the way from one down to 13. So basically when that shoe sells, I just go into the listing, I find what the SKU is, and then I can find it on its specific shelf as well as which row and exact position. So it's really hard to lose inventory and it takes no time at all to track down my sales. So it's really that simple, guys. I know there's pros and cons to having the shelving system. I know some of you use bins. Let me know down in the comments below how you keep track of your inventory. I love learning from other resellers. Um, if you don't have an inventory set system set up, I encourage you to try this one. It is super straightforward, um, easy to integrate into the spreadsheet because um, most spreadsheets you can just literally hit a certain button and then search for the SKU and it'll pop it right into the um, exact position on the spreadsheet. So it's super easy to keep track of every single pair of shoe when you're listing, when you're selling, and when you are going into your spreadsheet to enter the sale information. 
So I really hope you got something out of this video. If you have any questions, leave a comment down in the description below. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more shoe reselling content, make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's see you in the next one.